now the next concept multiples the next concept is multiples before so, so we discuss we learn about factors so what is a factor factor definition and how to find the factors two methods using two methods we can find the factors one is a division so one is multiplication product of two numbers so these two methods we discuss and after that common factors what about common factors and what about greatest common factor and so what is the use of greatest common factor and how many methods are there to find greatest common factor all this we discuss now so we are going to discuss about multiples about multiples see here so multiple multiple of any number is a number so which can be divided exactly by that number by that number what is a multiple so multiple of any number is a number multiple of any number of any number multiple of any number is a number so which can be divided exactly with that number here here 33 here 33 multiple of a number this 33 multiple of any number so this number multiple so this number is divided by 3 33 is exactly divided by 3 so means without remainder without remainder this 33 divided by this 3 so this 33 is the multiple of this 3 this 33 is the multiple of this 3 if any number is exactly divided with the number so then that number is a multiple of the given number that number is a multiple of given number so here 33 exactly divides with this 3 so this 33 is a multiple of 3 then multiples of a number how to form multiples of a number multiples of a number how we can form so if you are multiplying with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then you will form multiples you can get multiples of that number for example 5 so this 5 multiples how you will get 5 multiples 5 ones are if 5 that 5 if you multiply with 1 then you will get 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 5 sixes are 30 5 sevens are 35 in that way if this number is multiplied with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 infinite so then you will get multiples of that number multiples of this 5 similarly 6 how can you get 6 multiples if 6 is multiplied with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 then you will get multiples of 6 in that way whatever number so how you will get multiples of that number so that number is multiplied with 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on then you will get multiples of that number so every number has infinite multiples how many infinite multiples but in factors so limited factors we have 12 12 how many factors 12 have so 12 have only six factors just before we discuss how many factors 12 have 12 have only six factors limited factors so like that 36 36 how many factors eight factors so numbers have limited factors but multiples infinite multiples they have how 12 1s are, 12 2s are, 12 3s are, 12 4s are, 12 5s are, 12 6s are, 12 7s are, 12 8s are, 12 9s are, 12 11s are. So, in that way you will get infinite multiples. So, numbers have infinite multiples, but numbers have limited factors. Factors are limited, but multiples are infinite. Okay, these things you have to remember. Now, facts about multiple. So, multiple facts. What is a multiple fact? each number is a multiple of itself each number is a multiple of itself how 5 is a multiple of 5 6 is a multiple of 6 7 is a multiple of 7 how 7 ones are 7 6 ones are 6 10 ones are 10 so every number is a multiple of itself 5 is a multiple of 5 so in that way 6 is a multiple of 6 7 is a multiple of 7 so 8 is a multiple of 8 why because if you multiply with 1 then we are getting the same number so that is why every number is multiple of itself this fact you have to remember then every number is a multiple of 1 every number is multiplied with 1 how 7 ones are 1 is a multiple of every every number 1 is a multiple in all the numbers you have 1 how 10 ones are 10 
वन इज ए मल्टीपल वन इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑल द नंबर्स स टेन वन सा टेन स हाव द मल्टीपल्स लाइक दिस वी हैव टू से स आइदर दे आर मल्टीपल्स आर नॉट स ओके वन इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑल द नंबर्स वन इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑल द नंबर्स ओके नेक्स्ट जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ वन एवरी नंबर स इट इज नॉट सो वन टेन जा टेन लाइक दिस टेन वन जा इंस्टेड ऑफ टेन वन जा वन टेन जा टेन स इन एवरी नंबर स टेन वन एज ए मल्टीपल वन एज ए मल्टीपल वन डिवाइड्स एवरी नंबर वन डिवाइड्स एवरी नंबर सो एवरी नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर एवरी नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ वन इन द सेम वे जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर हाउ जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल टू जीरो जा जीरो थ्री जीरो जा जीरो फोर जीरो जा जीरो फाइव जीरो जा जीरो सो जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर जीरो इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ एवरी नंबर देन फर्स्ट मल्टीपल ऑफ ए नंबर इज द नंबर इट सेल्फ फर्स्ट नंबर दिस इज द फर्स्ट नंबर फर्स्ट नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ इट सेल्फ सिक्स टेबल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट सिक्स टेबल सिक्स वन जा सिक्स सिक्स टू जा ट्वेल्व सिक्स वन जा सिक्स फर्स्ट नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ इट सेल्फ फर्स्ट नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ इट सेल्फ देन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ इट सेल्फ सो मल्टीपल्स ऑफ हियर फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑल ऑल दीज आर मल्टीपल्स ऑल दीज आर मल्टीपल्स सो हियर द मल्टीपल इज फाइव एंड अदर मल्टीपल्स ऑफ ग्रेटर द मल्टीपल्स आर ईक्वल आर ग्रेटर दैन द नंबर द मल्टीपल्स आर के नॉट बी लेस के नॉट बी लेस either these are equal or greater than the given number 5 multiples are starts from 5 not less than 5 6 multiples starts from 6 not less than 6 10 multiples starts from 10 not from less than 10 so multiples are either equal or greater than either equal or greater than factors how the factors are factors either less or equal factors how the factors are factors are less or equal but multiples are equal or greater than the given number okay next multiples of any number is infinite so we have infinite multiples we have infinite multiples how we say that infinite 5525565678 5910 5110 11012 13141 infinite we have infinite multiples so that is why every number have infinite multiples so all these facts you have to remember all these five facts you have to remember okay now here see so the relation between multiples and factors so what is the relation between multiples and factors see here multiples and factors of a numbers are related to each other multiples and factors so both are related to each other related to each other how they are related to each other so for example 2 is a factor of 6 2 is a factor of 6 means in two table so this 6 exactly divides this 6 exactly divides 2 3 is a 6 so that is why so if 2 is a factor of 6 then 6 is a 6 is a multiple six is a multiple of 2 If two is a factor of six, then six is a multiple of two. Okay, this reverses. If eight is a factor of this sixteen, then it means sixteen is a multiple of eight. So reverses. Sixteen is a multiple of sixteen is a multiple of eight. So here. Here, five is a factor of ten. Five is a factor of ten, so it means if five is a factor of ten, that means ten. So ten is a is a multiple of ten is a multiple of five. If first number is a factor of the second, it means second one multiple is the first one. Okay. Six is a multiple of two. Sixteen is a multiple of eight. Ten is a multiple of five. Okay, so this is the relation between factors and multiples. Okay.
now see here so common multiples so before we discuss common factors how to find common factors first we have to write the factors of all the numbers given so then after that whatever the common that we have to write but in common multiples how to write common multiples here first if two numbers are multiplied then the product is common multiple of those two numbers those two numbers so those two numbers what are the common multiples that we have to write for example here three three first you write three multiples three multiples so three multiples we have to write three ones are three three twos are six three threes are nine three fours are twelve three fives are fifteen three six are eighteen three sevens are twenty one three eights are twenty four three nines are twenty seven three tens are thirty so so on so all these are three multiples now eight multiples eight eight multiples we have tried eight ones are eight eight twos are sixteen eight threes are twenty four eight fours are thirty two eight fives are forty eight six are forty eight and so on then what are the common multiples see here here three is there there is no three here six we don't have six here nine we don't have nine here twelve we don't have twelve here fifteen we don't have fifteen here eighteen we don't have eighteen here twenty one we don't have twenty one here twenty four here twenty four twenty four is common so twenty four is common multiple in three and eight three and eight common multiples so here eight threes are twenty four if you multiply these two numbers then you will get common multiple when when one of a number is prime other number is a composite here some cases were there so in particular cases so we have to apply according to the case but so if you need common multiples first you have write the multiples of that numbers and you see one by one one by one one by one so what are the common multiples that you have to write here see first second third third number is a common multiple after again third number will get common multiple 1 2 3 so this will get common in both if you are going to write in three tables then here 48 will come that 48 and this 48 will get common in a sequence you will get like here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8th one is common in this means after again 8th one you will get common 1 2 Again, more six multiples you have to write. You will get common. Every eighth one is a common multiple. So every third one and eighth one, third one and eighth one, third one and eighth one, you will get common multiples. You will get common multiple. In a sequence, you will get common multiples. Common multiple means so in the given numbers we have to write all that multiples. In that multiples, what are the common we have to check so that we have to find out so that numbers are called. common multiples of a given numbers okay now students in activity in activity so first question so write five multiples five multiples of these numbers we have to write first what is the number here 3 three. three first five multiples we have to write so 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 And three fives are fifteen. So it means the table we have to write till five. Five multiples he is asking. Means from one to five we have to write. One zar to five zar we have to write. So for a two table, two one zar two, two two zar four, two three zar six, two four zar eight, and two five zar ten. Next six multiples five. Six one za six, six two za twelve, six three za eighteen, six four za twenty four, and six five za thirty. Next eight table, eight one za eight, eight two za sixteen, eight three za twenty four, eight four za thirty two, and eight five za forty. Next nine table. Nine one za nine, nine two za eighteen, nine three za twenty seven, nine four za thirty six, and nine five za forty five. These are the multiples. These are the multiples. First five multiples of given numbers. First five multiples means 
from 1s are to 5s are we have to write ok. Next the second question state whether the following statements are true or false. So, we have to read the statement and we have to decide either it is correct or not. If it is correct then write true there and if it is false then write false there. First one 36 is a multiple of 6. First you have to check in 6 table 36 will come or not 6 6 is a 36 yes it is a multiple it is true it is it is true. Now 43 is a multiple of 3. So, once you check in 3 table you will get 43 or not or otherwise you divide with 3. So, divisibility test is there. So, it is not a multiple of 3. So, you will not get 43 in 3 table. So, it is false. It is false. Next statement 54 is a multiple of 9. So, once you check in 9 table you will get 54 or not. 9 5 are 45, 9 6 are 54. Yes, we are getting 54 in 9. So, it is true. 5 is a multiple of 10. In 10 table, 5 is heading. So, we are not, so we will not get this 5 in 10 table. So, always multiple is. How the multiples are? Multiples are equal or greater than. Equal or greater than. Here, this 5 is less than, less than this. So, no doubt that is not a multiple, that is not a multiple. Multiples are always equal or greater than the given number. So, this is a given number. Given number, this multiple is less, means it is not a multiple. So, false. Now, next third question. Find the factors of the following. Here, some sums are given. So, we have to find the factors of that numbers, factors of that numbers ok. Now, see here this we have to fill first 66, 66 is even number. So, it is divisible by 2, 233 is a then after that 33 it is divisible by 3, 3 11 is a 3 11 is a. Now, prime factors of 66 he is asking prime factors means we have to write this 2 into 3 into 11 2 into 3 into 11 2 3 is a 6 6 11 is a 66 11 6 is a 66 so all these numbers we have to write in a circle circle numbers we have to write then 50 first 2 25 is a 225 is a 50. Then 25, 5 5s are 25, 5 5s are 25. Now he is asking prime factors of 50, 50 prime factors, this circle numbers we have to write 2 into 5 into 5, 2 5s are 10, 10 5s are 50, 10 5s are 50. Now 27. 3 9s are 27, 3 9s are 27 and again this 9, 9 means 3 3s are 9. Then prime factors of 27, 3 into 3 into 3, 3 into 3 into 3, 3 into 3 into 3. Now, so this one 28, so 28, 2 14s are 2 14 is a then 14 means again 2 2 7 is a 2 7 is a then 28 prime factors here write 28 prime factors what are 28 prime factors 2 into 2 into 7 2 into 2 into 7, 2 to the 4, 4 7 is a 28, 4 7 is a 28. Now, here 45 prime factors. First, we have to take 5, 5 9 is a 45, then again this 9, 3 3 is a 
then what about 45 prime factors 5 into 3 into 3 45 45 prime factors Forty five prime factors five into three into three. Three three is a nine, nine five is a forty-five. Okay. In this way we have to write prime factors of a given numbers. Okay. Now next lamb activity. So in this lamb activity, so what we are going to learn, what we are going to practice, so what we are going to know about so by doing this lamb activity. So, by doing this lab activity, so we are going to learn, we are going to know how to do the procedure of to find greatest common factor, greatest common factor, greatest common greatest common factor. So, we are going to find greatest common factor. So, for that, so what are the material we need? Two dice per pair of student per pair of students two dice so you need two dice okay so pair of students for two students two dice we are going to give so then paper paper for each student so one paper each student should have one paper and pen or pencil pen or pencil you have to take pen or pencil so these material these things you need so now what to do so your classroom is divided into 3, 4, 5, how many groups you require that many groups, you make your groups. So, but in each group, pair of students should be there. How many? Two students should form a pair, means one pair should form one group. One pair should form one group. So, in that way, say you should form more than 4, 5, 6, 7 groups, that is your wish. So, then, so what is the procedure how to do? First, you have to take pair of, pair of dice and roll two dice and see so what number appears on top of the die so on two dice suppose on first die so the number one appeared the number one appeared on first die and the second die the number two is appeared so it is a 12 two, two digit number it is a 12th so this number is 12th so 12 number we appeared on the first and second die on first die 1 appeared on the second die 2 appeared if we join 1 and 2 so the 2 digit number we form is 12 so 12 we formed and after that one more time you roll that die so in the second time suppose if you form if you get 3 on first die and 6 on second die so how many faces are there on die so total 6 faces were there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 numbers mentioned on the surface of your die total six faces are there and six dots six dots on the first face one dot on second face say two dots on third face three dots and fourth face four dots and fifth face five dots on sixth face six dots were there number of dots are number so written on the die so if two dots were there it means the number is two if three dots on the surface means three the number is three if five dots on the surfaces that means the number is five like that you think and you write that number and the second time again you rolled the two dice you think that so one of a number you got that is 3 and another die you so you, you think that that is another number is 6 and one of a number so one of our two digit number is 12 and another two digit number is 36 one of a number is 12 other number is 36 after getting these two numbers after rolling dice two times means two dice at a time means one two digit number you will get and after that one more time if you rolled then another two digit number you will get. So, after getting two digit numbers 1 and 2 this and this after that you have to find the factors means so these numbers suppose four groups were there. So, all that four groups you have to write down these two numbers one is 12 other one is 36. These four groups you have to write down so 12 and 36 on your paper on your paper after that. So, pair of students should find the factors of 12 and 36. So, first pair, pair of students, first pair of students, second pair of students, third pair of students, fourth pair of means four groups. All these four groups separately. So, so write down this 12 and 36 and separately. So, you have to find 12 factors and 36 factors. 
So write all 12 factors. What are the 12 factors? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These all 12 factors you have to write. And after that 16 factors also you have to write. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 6, then after that 9, after that 12. These all are the factors. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 factors. Okay, so 36 factors. After finding these factors, okay, now what you have to do? So, what we have to do? So, so after that 18 also, 18 is also a factor. So, that also you have to write 18, 18 is also a factor, okay. 12 is also a factor. So, all these factors, so we have to write. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, then after these factors, after writing all the factors, so you have to find the common factors. After that, all four groups should find common factors. So, 1 is a common in both, 2 is common in both, and 3 is common in both, and 4 is common in both, and 6 is common in both. All these are common in both. Okay? So, 12 is common in both. 12 is also common in both. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All these 6 are common in both. After finding common factors, again you have to find greatest common factor. Greatest common factor that is 12. 12 is the greatest common factor. So, after finding common factor and also find greatest common factor that is 12. So, then after finding all these four groups and check your answer and compare your answer. So, all you are getting correct means same answer or not. If once you are all these four groups you are getting the same answer means your procedure is correct. Okay? If your procedure is correct, so then one more thing you have to simplify the fraction also by taking 12 by 36. 12 by 36 divide with greatest common factor 12 divided by greatest common factor with 12. 12 ones are 12, 12 threes are then you will get 3, 1 by 3. So, in, the, in this way you can find, you, you can simplify your fraction also. So, so, like this you have to find 2, 2 digit numbers by rolling 2 dice and so we have to find common factors and after that we have to simplify the fraction also. So, for another number also again you start your, uh, you roll again your so dice and so find out your 2 digit number. So, 2, do, two digit numbers and so, in the next time, so for next, you do the same procedure. So, as much as you can, then you do that and you find your GCD and simplify fraction. Okay? By using this lab activity, you can easily find, so you can know so how to find greatest common factor. Okay?